cheered, pirouetted, and tumbled their way to 23 national championships. But now Hawaii Pacific University's cheer and dance squads have likely seen their last competition. As Terry Okita reports, budget concerns have forced the school to restructure the programs. In less than a week, the nation's number one cheerleaders flipped from this to this. On Friday, Hawaii Pacific University won national championships in two cheer divisions. By Wednesday, school administrators told the cheer and dance teams they could no longer compete because of budgetary concerns. We're bringing expenses related to this program more in line with what we want the size and scope of the cheer and dance programs to be. Um, they've, they've unfortunately grown significantly in, in expenses over the past several years. And so we're trying to rein those costs in. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. After the initial shock, anger, and tears, the restructuring fired up the teams. Sign a petition to help us go to nationals, save our program. They've organized petition drives and social media support, hoping to change administrators' minds. They say the annual competition in Florida is their time to shine for their school and Hawaii. We get to go out and we get to represent what we do and love. And that's just kind of the hardest thing is to know that that's trying to be taken away from us. Team members say they had no idea this was coming and were told at the same time the story broke in the school newspaper. HPU says it didn't want to break the bad news before nationals. The school has 15 athletic programs but says cheer and dance make up more than one-fifth of the overall athletic expense. These are tough times for all of us in higher education and uh, we have to make decisions that uh, are sometimes difficult, this being one of those. Uh, but it doesn't mean we're not committed to cheer and to dance. Some students say without competitions, the school won't be able to recruit. People aren't going to be traveling out here to uh, wave pom-poms at basketball games, but they will travel out here as they are doing on Saturday um, uh, to, to be a part of this award-winning program. Tryouts are Saturday, and many wonder if, through all these changes, they really can be of good cheer. In Honolulu, Terry Okita, Hawaii News Now. Also making headlines new at 530, a Big Island man is in police.